In the world of plumbing, one of the most difficult connections you'll face is connecting a piece of copper to PVC. Now, oftentimes this can be something called CPVC, which is more commonly used in homes in the US for plumbing. Until this year, there was only one method for connecting plastic to copper, and that was to use a product called Shark Bites. And though Shark Bites certainly have their place, on something like a main line, this could be problematic. Shark Bites, of course, use a metal ring along with an O-ring. And on a main connection, you don't really want this pipe moving, have any kind of vibrations that could make that connection come apart. Now, you're not gonna be doing this throughout your home. You'll typically get plastic pipe coming in from your street or from something like a well, and your house itself might be using copper plumbing. You could use threaded connections and essentially just tighten them up. But of course, anytime you have threads, even with good sealants, you could have a leak. But there was just one problem. You certainly can't solder copper pipe to plastic. There was no real way to glue it until this company called Sioux Chief came out with this. Now this is real copper pipe. There's nothing magical about it except for this end. They've actually created a flare on the end of this pipe, but the flare alone wouldn't be enough to use that PVC pipe directly. So they have now inserted PVC pipe into this flare fitting, but they've then crimped it inside of this piece of copper. Now you've created a piece of pipe that will give you a direct connection to PVC. You can insert it once it's properly glued and prepped. It will be as if you actually glued the pipe directly to the copper. Now these come in three different sizes that I'm aware of. This is one inch, they've got three quarter and half inch as well. The reason this pipe is so long, they don't really know what you're gonna be connecting to. And this length also allows plenty of distance if you're gonna be soldering the end of this thing so that the heat won't conduct too far over, which could melt this fitting. Now using this product is as simple as it looks. You'll start with a cleaner, then you can use your glue, insert it into the fitting the same way you would do any other PVC. You'll wanna give it a slight twist, and now you've got an instant connection from PVC or CPVC directly into copper. Now personally, I am super impressed by this because many times if you've got a well, you're gonna be coming in via CPVC or PVC, and that connection is critical. I don't know that I wanna use a shark bite in that type of a situation where I could be having movement in the pipe, or I just simply wanna make sure that the connection is as solid as possible, and nothing is gonna beat a glued connection. Now in the plumbing world, this is a big deal. Seeing someone insert PVC into copper is just nuts, and the fact that it will actually work and that it's made by a real company gives me a little bit more confidence to think this adapter is gonna stand the test of time. And these fittings are not super cheap. In fact, the one inch costs about 25 bucks and the smaller sizes are cheaper, but they're still more costly than buying those threaded adapters. But this will certainly save you time and be a lot easier than other methods. If you want a solid connection and one that can be assembled faster than any other method that I can see using on plumbing to connect both plastic and copper together. But what do you guys think? This may not be something you do very often, but it's worthwhile being aware of it in case you are in the future. And if you have other ideas or better ways to do this job, be sure to leave me a comment below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Silver Symbol channel for more videos coming up.